All right, we already got a battle, and if I win this, I mean, I'll be 1,500 or higher, so that'll be cool. Um, I've done it previously in this session, as you've seen, but, you know, we want to finish off on a nice spot. So, we've got the Defogger here, no doubts. He's got that Bonnet, mm-hmm, but that's why we have Skunting, we have Defog. Um, he does have Braviary for Defog, though. Um, I kind of want it. He has a lot. Um, he has Tyrantrum, Braviary, and Bonnet that all can abuse, or that are all physical attackers. So that is definitely something to note. I'm gonna go for the knockoff, just take his item off. His Mental Herb is gonna go for a nice little Willow. Get that nice residual. Um, I'm gonna go into Skunt Tank. And so, okay, I hear birds that are freaking out for some reason. <laughs> okay, I don't like this. Um, you can easily press EQ. There's no reason to not press EQ right now. Balls, balls, balls. I don't know if Bandit EQ can take it out. I really could use these hazards out of here. Um, they're definitely going to wither me now. I'm going to go into Bennett. Take this EQ. Hopefully well. Goes for Dragon Claw. I do not agree with this. Um, I'm going to Pain Split. As that does not... Oh. I mean, I'm gonna, def I'm gonna defog. I thought the reason that he would have stayed in was because, or that he would he would have switched out is what I thought he would do. I'm gonna go for a sucker punch here, get off a little more damage, and that's all I'll need. I didn't even need it actually. Um, I'm going to go into Yon Mega. I can press Bug Buzz and something will die or get to it KO'd. So that's good. Um, so looking at his team, his Shuckle is useless. Well, it's not useless because you can definitely get hazards up still. Um, Tyrantrum's going to go down. Clawitzer, I've seen multiple variants of it, whether it's Specs or Life Orb or Assault Vest. We'll find out soon enough. But, yeah, he's going to go down. If I can wither Bennett down a little bit, him on, Chan, him on Lee should be fine. Um, he's going to bring this in. I'm going to hope this does a ton of damage. And that he doesn't get rocks up. <laughs> um, does not do nearly enough. He goes for Sticky Web. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Because... That uh, I don't know, that was probably the better move for him when you think about it. Um, hmm. This will be interesting how it plays out. He does bring in Clawitzer. Um, gonna go to Registeel. As he goes for the Ice Beam. I'm going to go for the T-Wave. Yes, I'm going to go for the T-Wave. That is my best play. And if I go for rocks, that'll wither away and bravery a little bit. And this is why T-Wave is super good. Or Sphere does a ton of damage. Um, I'm going to go for rocks now because I want to hurt that bravery a little bit. Um, he is going to... Uh, not get parried once again. I'm gonna go into Hitmonlee. His uh, it's really 50 50 here. I think he's gonna go into Bennett though. I think he's going to go into Bennett. His high jump kick is just too obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it just straight up kills. Okay, so I 
think. See, I think I outspeed X Blab. I think I do. Um, I don't know though. I do not outspeed X Blab. Good to know. Gonna go for a bug booze. Okay. I don't know if that was clincher or not. I don't think so because Doug Trio's in a much better speed tier. Mm. Let's see, how Braviary's base 80 speed. If his Braviary is scarfed, I lose. No doubts. Um Specs. Really? That doesn't kill. That's really unfortunate. And he outspeeds as well. Well, GG to that. That wasn't 20 turns, so it doesn't qualify. I only, only lost a lot. I was like, oh, I'm at 4 to 92. No. I'm not Columbus who sailed the ocean blue. Oh, we faced this guy earlier. Uh, we're going to lead the same way we did last time. One thing we're going to realize is that friggin' Yan Mega works all over his team, or does wonders, so Iron Head, I dare to taunt me, take damage. Um, boom. I'm going to... What is more valuable to me? Not killing those Frostlass or getting hazards. I think killing this Frostlass. So is Frostlass dead? Excelente. Sorry for these chair noises. I'm, I'm just getting ex excited. You feel me? Um... I'm not bringing in Yon Mega. I'll tell you that for a fact. I'm gonna bring in Banette. Um, yeah, he goes for rocks. Like, this is more than fine. I'm gonna go for Ness Willow. As he brings in Reuniclus. I'm gonna go for the knockoff. But if he successfully gets off this trick room, I'm going to be in a world of pain for a long time. I am not in a world of pain for a long time. He has two more trick rumors, being his Kofagricus and his Slowking. I'm going to go for knockoff here. Does a ton, and I doubt he has Willow. Um, so, I'm going to go for a sneak. Oh, that does way more than I thought it would. But, um... Now, it could be mind games here, but I'm just going to go for the defog. That is my best play in my opinion. Um, HP fighting apparently. I don't know why he went for that, really. Um, Shadow Ball is more beneficial because of the chance to get a spit after up. Um, he's nasty plotting. That's fine because if he doesn't attack this turn, I outspeed next turn. My ability is now mummy. Mummy, mummy, mummy. He brings in the Rhyperior. I really, I feel like he has no reason to go with the, He goes for it. He had no reason to. Balls. Did it again. <laughs> And this time, I'm in a worse position, in my opinion. I'm gonna go for the HJK. Oh! Ow! Ow! I'm so sorry. If I get enough damage on this thing, which I certainly do, um...
then I win because sack Doug trio to a sclad. Um, bring in Hitmonlee, go for fake out. I wonder if he's gonna switch out though. Nah. So all I have to do here is uh, I don't need this. It goes for Giga Drain. <laughs> of course, I miss. <laughs> Good. To be fair, it doesn't really matter, but it's just kind of annoying. If he has, I forgot if he has EQ. That does a lot, actually. I think I still went out, but like, that did a lot. So I'm gonna hope for a little bit of paraflinching. That's not happening. If I shard kills in this range, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Oh, it doesn't. Thank Lord Arceus, because otherwise, I would be in trouble. And I want no chance of this taking me out. I'm going for Sucker Punch. I'm taking him out. That puts me exactly at 1500. Okay, we are ending there. We are ending there. That guy's a nice score for that team. Like, if I didn't, I mean, it's so Yon Mega weak. Yon Mega did a lot of work, and I just stupidly lost it twice to this guy. But yeah, that'll put me at 1500. I am totally fine with that. This was a pretty good session. I need to go to bed. It's almost four in the morning. Why did I just, why did I think this is a good idea? I don't know. But 66, not bad, not bad. It was like 60, judging by the scores. Yeah, so that was definitely a fun session. Someone last or a little bit ago was talking about how I don't do too many collaborations anymore. That's just because I've been busy with school. Only have two more days as of me recording this. By th by the time I upload this, probably a week later, and I'll be on summer break. But yeah, after that, I'll be doing a lot more collabs. But yeah, I've got Special Defensive Skun Tank. It works. It's not amazing. But it does support my Yon Mega, which does so much damage in this tier. Physically defensive, but that is not awful. It's not. It's pretty nice. The trio did some decent work. Oh, show. Come on, Lee. Pretty powerful. Just watch out for that sticky weapon. I need Skun Tank for that. And Registeel. A pretty good set, too. So yeah, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later. Peace.